Hi guys, welcome back for another speed racing video. If you like what you see make sure you subscribe and share this channel with your friends. Today's video, it's all about reptile category speed races. And includes the following reptiles, American Alligator, Komodo Dragon, Nile Monitor, Saltwater Crocodile and the Spectacled Cayman. Let the race begin. So what are reptiles? A vertebrate animal of a class that includes snakes, lizards, crocodiles, turtles, and tortoises. They are distinguished by having a dry scaly skin and typically laying soft-shelled eggs on land. The American alligator is a large species of crocodilian that lives in the rivers, swamps, marshes, and wetlands of the southern USA and Mexico. American alligators may be dark green, brown, or gray in color. They have a broad rounded head with a large gape and many teeth, of which some can be seen protruding externally. The body of the American alligator is broad, with several raised ridges of scales running down their back. Their legs stick out laterally and they move close to the ground but will raise themselves off the ground when running. Male American alligators measure 11 to 15 feet in length and weigh 200 to 1,377 pounds if females measure between 8.5 to 9.9 .9 feet in length and weigh 66 to 440 pounds. American alligators continue growing throughout their lives so can reach very large sizes. They are not endangered and there are estimated to be 5 million American alligators in the wild. The Komodo dragon, or Varanus komodoensis, is a large species of reptile that lives on the Indonesian isles of Komodo, Rinka, Flores, and Gilimatang. They are a dull green-brown in color with wide-set limbs with a wide gape, have a long, muscular tail, and a yellow forked tongue. The males reach an average length of 2.59 m and usually weigh between 79 and 91 kilograms, whereas the females are smaller, averaging 2.29 m long and between 68 and 73 kilograms. A Komodo dragon's walk is very distinctive, moving its limbs far out from its body and swaying from side to side as it moves. Although they appear slow, the dragons can run up to 12 miles per hour when chasing prey. The species is classified as vulnerable, endangered due to habitat loss, human encroachment into their environments, and because of mankind's overhunting of the deer that are their preferred prey. They are also threatened by volcanic activity on the islands, which can rapidly kill many dragons, destroying their nests at the same time. As a result, the Komodo dragon is now protected by Indonesian law, and the Isle of Komodo has been declared a national park in order to help with its conservation.
The Nile monitor, or Varanus niloticus, is a large species of reptile that lives in the non-desert area of sub-Saharan Africa. They have also been introduced to the USA, specifically California and Florida, where they are regarded as an invasive species. Nile monitors much prefer environments close to water, tending to live near rivers. Both sexes look the same and are between 120 and 220 centimeters long, with more than half of this length being their tail. Adults tend to be brown to green, with dark stripes on their body and yellow spots on their legs and head. Meanwhile, juveniles are black with bright yellow spots. The species is not endangered, but they are exploited in certain areas of Africa where they are hunted for their skin and meat. Their body fat is also believed to have healing properties in traditional medicine, although there is no scientific evidence for this. The saltwater crocodile, or Crocodylus porosus, is an extremely large species of reptile native to the coastal areas of Southeast Asia, North Australia, and East India. It is an effective and dangerous apex predator, with the males capable of growing between 3.5 to 7 m long, and weighing between 200 and 1,500 kg. Females are significantly smaller, averaging 2.7 to 3.4 m and 120 to 200 kg. Both sexes have a broader snout and body compared to other crocodile species, and are tan to greenish-gray in color, there is variation in color among different populations. The species is not endangered, partially due to its ability to swim long distances around the coast when searching for territory. However, its natural range has decreased and is no longer found in much of Southeast Asia and China, where it was once widespread.
Spectacled caiman, or caiman crocodilus, is a mid-sized crocodilian that lives in the wetlands, savannas and forests of Central and Southern America. Spectacled caimans may be green, brown, yellow or gray in color, with banded markings along the tail and body. They are named for the distinctive bony ridge running between their eyes, giving them the appearance of wearing spectacles. The body of the spectacled caiman is slender, with further raised ridges of scales down their back. Males of this species measure 5 feet to 6.6 .6 feet in length on average, though can grow over 8.25 feet long with age, and weigh between 28.6 pounds to 88 pounds if females are smaller, measuring 3.6 feet to 4.6 feet in length on average, up to 6.6 .6 feet for larger and older specimens, and weigh between 15.4 pounds and 66 pounds. Spectacled caimans are not endangered and categorized as a species of least concern. Though they may be hunted for their skin, the global population is not affected by this, and due to their adaptability and range, are also not threatened by habitat loss. The winner is the saltwater crocodile. The saltwater crocodile is statistically the joint most dangerous crocodile to humans, alongside the Nile crocodile. Saltwater crocodiles have the strongest recorded bite force of any animal. Saltwater crocodiles exhibit the greatest sexual dysmorphism of any crocodilian, males are four to five times larger than the females. Saltwater crocodiles do not require fresh drinking water. Like other crocodiles, they have salt glands on their heads that can secrete excess salt, allowing them to drink salty water. Saltwater crocodiles have been seen to knock primates out of trees into water with their tails to make catching their prey easier. Unlike other crocodiles, saltwater crocodiles are immune to cane toad toxins, allowing them to eat cane toads to sustain themselves if necessary. Thanks for watching.